All right, CNT 140, we are working on our bit spec. We're working on the cable support for our plan. So real quickly, on our bit spec page, down under the do area, all the stuff we'll need for this part is here. Um, as I open this guy up, this is the, the, the notes page that I have open right here. I just downloaded that so it's easier to view. Podcast going over the pieces. Here's the catalog for reference. Here's the fill table that we'll need. You'll need to download that and hold on to it. And then here's the install guide, mainly for reference, for reference sake. So you know where I'm getting a lot of this information from. Okay, so I downloaded the notes page here. I have it as a PDF, and we're going to slowly work our way down through. And I'm going to show you the pieces as we go, the relevant pieces as we go. So this part... Um, this part of our plan, we're worried about getting the cable trays and cable support installed in our building. So what the plan usually is, is we install some sort of like tray in the hallway to support the cabling as it goes down the hall. And then as the cabling leaves that tray and heads into a classroom, office, whatever, typically that couple cable bundle will be supported with what's called a J-hook. These usually can anchor into the good work in the ceiling, the I-beams in the ceiling, um, some kind of structure up there, maybe even the concrete floor anchor to the floor above. Um, and these can support a small bundle of cable till it gets to the outlet on the wall. So our plan starts to look like this. In the main hallway here, I have these, these bright pink lines, if you will. These would be the cable trays, those basket cable trays like you see here, almost like a wire basket, would be installed in the hallway to support the, the bundle, large bundle of cabling. Same thing over in this part of the building. You know, I would do a basket tray here, and I would need to zigzag it down the hallway. But in the main hallways, you have those basket trays. And then as the smaller bundle of cable, the four or five cables leaving the tray head into the room, you just use a, a, a series of these anchored to the ceiling or the grid work or something above, um, I-beams, whatever above, to support those small bundles of cable until they get to the outlet on the wall. So that is roughly the plan we're going to use. So the rest of this is going to be focused on how do I estimate, how do I find, what's the hardware I need to do this. Okay, so here's roughly our plan, and if you haven't done your maps yet, um, this would be a good time to do that. Earlier in the uh, out here on the bid spec page, I do actually have a section on doing the maps. Here is here's maps up here. If you need that for help, uh, what we want to show on the maps is the closets, the cable support, um, and then our horizontal cabling, and eventually the backbone cabling. So you can take your uh, the 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 diagram that's out on our D2L loaded into Google Drawing and quick draw a couple lines on to represent this is our plan. All right, now before we dig into finding all the equipment, let's update our packet tracer file to reflect what we're doing in our building. So what we're going to do, and this will take a couple minutes to do, uh, but I'm, I'll show you the kind of the getting going, and then I'll pause the video, and then I'll show you where I end, kind of end up. So on my packet tracer file, we have this so far. We, we put all the outlets in the rooms, okay, outlets in the rooms. Then we, in our closets, we put our patch panels for each of the rooms. Let me slide it over a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to back out here again. And then we did horizontal cabling between the boxes and the patch panels, and we kept it in an organized manner. We did this whole hallway into this closet, this whole hallway into this closet. So right now it's showing kind of like the direct line. We want this to reflect how it's really going to get routed in a building. So to do that, I'm going to do what's called a create a break bend point. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to zoom in over here on like this first 101 run. I'm going to right click on top of this horizontal cabling and create a bend point. And a little square shows up. I'm going to grab that square. I'm going to drag it in the hallway like so. Almost like it's going right angle into the room just like it's leaving a cable tray. So I'm going to do that for each of the cable runs. This is the part that's going to take a couple minutes to do. And if you need to, zoom in so you can see that square better. Okay, I'm going to grab it now. Come on, you can do it. And I'm going to represent all of my cabling doing this, almost like it would be going out into the tray in the hallway. Okay, so this this will take a couple minutes to do. All right, and there would be the cable cable for 101, and I would just start working my way down the hallway until I get all of the uh, rooms represented in this manner. I'm just going to try to approximate getting in the middle like it would be supported by the cable tray.
And this also allows us to start seeing what the real cable length of these rooms would be now that we're doing the right angle wiring, the orthogonal wiring, instead of that straight through diagonal wiring. Okay, and I'm going to just keep working my way down the hallway. Oh, I did not put that in a good spot. That was a little hard to see. I think I'll do it up here. And I'm just going to work my way down the hallway till I get all the drops. Okay, I'm going to pause while I finish this hallway, and I'll come back when I'm done with this hallway and I go move, move to the next hallway. Okay, I just about have this hallway done over here. I have all these rooms routed here. As I get down to these down here, I, it'd be hard to know. I might need to, you know, crawl on the ceiling to know really how I could route these. Uh, not even sure I'd be able to go from closet into the rooms. So in this one, what I'm going to do for this point, I'm going to create a bend point here like it's coming out into the hallway. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to kind of route around that box. I don't end up being uh, for our access point. So I'm going to kind of route these out this way. And then it's going to seem kind of weird, but I'm going to route them right back into the room. Because these are going to come out into a tray in this hallway. So I'm going to create a second bend point. And I'll route them here like they'd be going down the tray and then into the room. So I'm trying to reflect probably that's how it would get routed in real life. That there. Actually, I'm going to slide this outlet box up a little bit, and then I'll slide these over to kind of look like more what's going on there. There we go. And then I'm going to do something very similar for this room as well. All right, again, I'll pause while I'm doing this and then come back when we're done. And there we go. We have this hallway done now. And again, I was trying to show going down the hallway in a tray and into the room, down the hallway into the tray, into a room, that kind of idea. Now that we kind of roughly that's the plan that we would have for this wing of the building. As I move over to this one, I'm going to repeat the same process, uh, but I'm most likely on most of these, I'm going to have to create like more than one bend point to do this. Um, so, and let's start up here at this one up, uh, up here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So I will create the first bend point here, drag it out like I'd be coming into the tray in this hallway. And then once I get these, I'll need to come down kind of to the corner of the hallway and create a second bend point showing it. Ah, there we go. Knock that off. There we go. Then I need to create a second bend point down here where I can drag it like so, like it's coming down kind of this hallway, if you will down this hallway in a tray. And I'm just going to repeat this down the hallway for these rooms. Again, I will, once I get this room done, I will pause, and once I get a couple done, I will come back. Okay, I'm part way down this hallway. Uh, I did the top rooms up here earlier. Here, all the runs going down this end of the hallway, I created a break point and kind of brought them out here because we'd leave the, the closet in basically one one swoop. Um, and now that I've come down the hallway, I've, I routed one or two rooms in, and now we get to these out here that I'm going to need to kind of bend them here over and into the room, bend them here over and into the room. So if I take a look, I, I did the first bend here for this room. Now I'm going to do the second bend here so it's coming this way. The cable's coming down the hallway in the tray and then into the room. So we'll need to create a couple extra bend points to route these. Um, that's why I said when I started, this takes a couple minutes to do. But this is the kind of thing we're after. All right, again, I'll pause while I do these other rooms and I'll show you where I'm at when I'm done. All right, and now we have this hallway done. I zoomed out a little bit to show you. You know, I had to create a break point to get it out in the hallway. Once it gets down here, I had to create another break point to go, like, in this tray, and then another one to drop it in the room. So it takes a couple of zigzags to get these to represent what it would be in, in real life, you know, doing this kind of thing here. Um, I did not route, uh, when we routed our, our drops for the access points, I did not route those yet. Um, this hallway pretty much can stay as is. Over here, I would need to route this run. Um, 
I think he's already there. Yeah, he's already there. He's good. He got routed. This one I did not, so I will do him real quick. Um, that way he's kind of done for later. There we go. And he's now rate routed, routed as well. So now I have all my horizontal cabling routed into the building, basically uh, on our cable plan. We'll save this because we'll be um, adding to this just a little bit more, but this is almost done for our building. This cable plan is almost done for our building, our packet tracer file. All right, now that I have that, now I can move on to looking at our equipment and etc. All right, I will come back in the next podcast um, to show you how to pick up from here.